Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of A Kid's Wildlife Adventures. Today, we're going to introduce you to the amazing world of the rhinoceros. So, get ready to embark on an educational journey with us as we explore these magnificent creatures. But first, let's talk about what makes rhinoceroses so special. Rhinoceroses are huge mammals with thick skin, short legs, and a large head. They are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. Rhinoceroses are found in Africa and Asia and they live in a variety of habitats, including grasslands, savannas, and forests. Rhinoceroses are large, powerful animals that are known for their tough skin and, of course, their horns. They are some of the most fascinating creatures in the animal kingdom. But did you know there are different types of rhinoceroses? Yes, that's right. We have one-horned rhinoceroses and two-horned rhinoceroses. Let's take a closer look at the one-horned rhinoceros. There are five different species of rhinoceros and they are all classified as either one-horned or two-horned. <coughs> now, let's talk about the one-horned rhinoceros. They are also known as the Indian rhinoceros. These incredible animals have only one horn, which makes them unique. Their skin is tough, like armor, and it helps protect them from the elements and predators. Look at this amazing creature! One-horned rhinoceroses have thick gray skin that looks like a suit of armor. Their skin has lots of folds that look like plates of armor. This makes them look prehistoric, almost like a dinosaur. Within India, rhinos are mainly found in the seven protected areas, Kasaranga National Forest, Papatara Wildlife Sanctuary, Orang National Forest, Manas National Forest in Assam, Jaldapra National Forest and Goramara National Forest in West Bengal and Dudwa National Forest in Uttar Pradesh. <coughs> Their horn is made of keratin, just like our hair and nails. It's not for fighting but is used for digging, defending themselves, and marking their territory. They are peaceful herbivores, meaning they eat plants, leaves, and grasses. Rhinoceroses are also known for their thick skin. Rhinoceros skin is up to 2 inches thick, and it protects them from predators and the harsh sun.
Now, let's talk about the two-horned rhinoceros. They are also known as African rhinoceros. As the name suggests, they have two horns, which is different from the one-horned rhinoceros. Take a look at this magnificent creature. The two-horned rhinoceros has a strong, muscular body and a wide mouth that's perfect for munching on plants. Their skin is also thick, but it looks a bit different from the one-horned rhinoceros. Now, let's take a closer look at the differences between one-horned and two-horned rhinoceroses. <coughs> one-horned rhinoceros. Scientific name, Rhinoceros unicornis. Found in Asia. Has one horn on its forehead. Skin is gray or black. Has a large head and a short neck. Has short legs and a thick body. Weighs up to 2,700 pounds. Two-horned rhinoceros. Scientific name, Ceratotherium simum. Found in Africa. Has two horns on its forehead. Skin is gray or black. Has a large head and a short neck. Has short legs and a thick body. Weighs up to 3,000 pounds. animals have two horns, one bigger horn in the front and a smaller one behind it. Their horns are also made of keratin, and they use them for defense against predators and to mark their territory. White, black, and Sumatran rhinos all have two horns, one larger, one smaller, whereas Javan and greater one-horned rhinos each have a single horn. Rhino horns are used for defense, for establishing dominance, and for fighting rivals to win the right to mate. So, what are the main differences between one-horned and two-horned rhinoceroses? Well, the number of horns is the most obvious difference, but there's more to it. One-horned rhinoceroses are from Asia, and they have thicker skin with lots of folds. On the other hand, two-horned rhinoceroses are from Africa and have a more muscular body with less folded skin. Rhinoceroses are important members of the ecosystems they inhabit. They help to control the growth of plants and they provide food for other animals, such as lions and hyenas. Rhinoceroses are also facing many threats, including poaching, habitat loss, and climate change. It is important to protect these amazing animals so that future generations can enjoy them. Both of these amazing creatures are critically endangered, which means they need our help to protect them from harm. We must do our part to ensure their survival. It's essential to talk about the conservation of rhinoceroses. These incredible animals are facing many challenges, such as habitat loss and poaching for their horns. 
we can all contribute to their conservation by spreading awareness and supporting organizations that work to protect them. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Kids Wildlife Adventures. We hope you enjoyed learning about the incredible rhinoceroses, the one-horned and two-horned rhinos. Remember, it's up to all of us to ensure that these magnificent creatures have a bright future. So, let's all do our part to protect and conserve these amazing animals. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on our next exciting adventure. Subscribe my channel and click the bell icon.